Hi, I'm David Burns. I'm Austin Young. And we're the artists of Fallen Fruit. We're going to share some of our favorite projects since we, that we've done since 2004. In the early days of our work, we mapped the fruit trees that existed in public space, specifically the neighborhood of Silver Lake and Los Angeles, the area between our houses. And what we learned was that there was over 100 trees that crossed over the boundaries of fences, over sidewalks, and most of this a uh, resource was un, unrecognized. Yeah, it was really exciting to find this, this, this hidden magical resource and we put it online and we thought we'd map the world at the time, city by city. It was a little ambitious, so we decided to really encourage people to take charge of their own communities and to plant the perimeter of their properties and cross over to public space. We created public fruit tree adoptions where no money is exchanged, but people opt in by signing agreement forms to keep the trees alive. What we, what we learned is that this really formed uh, relationships and communities and neighborhoods. Like if I, if I plant an orange tree in front of my um, drive, uh, drive, then you, maybe I can come and pick your peach you across the street. You can always pick my peaches. Okay. Public, <laughs> public Fruit Jam is how we learn to collaborate with people, people being the public. And what's so great about this jam is that we don't use recipes as a way to form relationships. People have to negotiate by other terms. Oh, people um, get high on fructose, and th then they uh, make Twitter, friends, and they Instagram, form relationships, and then they, they inevitably Facebook. start telling stories start about dating. their uh, grandmother, maybe who uh, stored apples for the winter in her basement. You know, and so you, it's just this incredible way for people to get together. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> E. LACMA was in 20, 2010, and it was a year-long residency in which we did many projects. One of them is this image here, in which we recurated the permanent collection according to subject matter, of course, fruit. This fruit was hung salon style on top of a wallpaper pattern that we designed for that show. We also, uh, one day we curated 50 plus artists to reimagine LACMA and, and do pieces about fruit or food. And this is um, Jean Dunning's Tomato Fight. This was um, Miss Barbecue's watermelon eating contest. And Adam Overton wearing a fig leaf as California Nature Boy. Um, animals of Distinction doing a piece uh, about relationships with lemon. And Michelle Carr recreating Josephine Baker's famous banana dance. The work from Blackman inspired us to make wallpapers for other cities in the world. These are apple blossoms that were photographed on the sidewalks of Salt Lake City. This is all the citrus we got in one day in public space in Los Angeles and uh, we borrowed fruit from street vendors in Chinatown in Honolulu. Also lemons picked from the groves outside of Santa Barbara for the Santa Barbara Museum of Art. And uh, we were excited to learn that uh, San Diego's the port that most of the bananas go through uh, to go to North America and all of our, our wallpapers uh, patterns repeat endlessly. Fallen Fruit of Utah is the show that followed what we did with LACMA. And it was different in a new way in the sense that we collaborated with 11 institutions across the state, and most importantly, with the Church of the Latter-day Saints Art History Archives. You know, the, the museum kind of told us that that wasn't going to be possible to get the Mormon Church involved, but we got everybody involved and bridged the community there. And what we did was very similar to LACMA in the sense that we thought about using artwork in the form of subject so that you might see watermelon, 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 apple. But what we realized is that the subtext of this work might come forward and you might see racism, 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 misogyny. Lemonade Stand is a new piece. <laughs> I know, we go from sad to happy. Um, it's a new piece yeah, for the Santa. Give you, gives you lemons. Yeah. <laughs> Make lemonade. These are portraits that people draw, self-portraits, onto lemons in exchange for a glass of lemonade on the streets of Santa Barbara. Uh, so the museum coached us that we might want to stay away from the perimeter of the museum, which is always, um, uh, there's all these homeless always around there. So, so we actually did it right in front of the museum uh, and invited everybody, um, donors and whoever was there. And what ultimately happened was we were able to capture this portrait of the community in a very different way. Public fruit parks is something we started a few years back, and this is our first uh, venture at the border of the U.S. and Mexico in Tijuana in Colonia Federal. We were in invited to do a, a fruit park in Madrid, and citizens got really excited there. This is us on the cover of El País. And then most recently with the Los Angeles County Arts Commission in collaboration with the county and the citizens of Del Air, we created the first public fruit park in the state of California. It, it was a long negotiation with different city agencies to try and get fruit trees to be planted in public space. We there. didn't realize at the beginning that fruit trees would be perceived of as dangerous, and thankfully we realized that fruit trees could become art. There's a lot of prejudice against them, but we... we um, <laughs> 
we sort of bridged the gap by using art as a way to galvanize a bunch of different people. Endless Orchard is our project proposal for Creative Capital, and it borrows from these ideas from nine years of research and project making with different people in the world. It is physically located in the California State Historic Park, adjacent to downtown Los Angeles, as an orange grove installed as a monument to sharing. This actual site was a railway yard historically that shipped the oranges from the citrus groves of Hollywood and around Los Angeles back east. We, we want to think of this as a, a, big, a collaboration on, on this art project with the public. So we want to get the surround, uh, surrounding Chinatown and Lincoln Heights to, to plant uh, fruit trees in the margins of public space. Which, which extends the orchard in a physical way, but we're thinking even bigger than that, bigger than that community, maybe the city of Los Angeles, but all the, also other communities and other zip codes that we have yet to involve in the project. Um, so uh, we'd like to capture all the data of this maps uh, of the, these fruit trees on a uh, endless orchard map, or endless orchard app, which I, I know everyone's making an app, but this will be cool because it'll be a collaborative art project. We kind of think of it as a public fruit portal where you can take the things we've learned about storytelling, sharing, collaborating recipes, social exchange, and use it geographically by creating a public fruit map that indexes the largest collection of public fruit trees in the world. And, and maybe you could jump through this magical portal and you know, look at what peach trees mean to the city of Atlanta. Or olives in Athens or oranges off the streets of LA. We're asking for collaborators, curators, programmers, artists, citizens, activists, et cetera, to help imagine what this orchard could become. We'd, we'd also like to change public policy about fruit tree plantings in public space and in LA and other cities. And we also know that money doesn't grow on trees. So if anyone has some help with that, I think we have an orchard ready. Thank you so much. Thank you.